Hello again. Now we're gonna read this book for our ocean theme. This one is called Fidgety Fish and it's by Ruth Galloway. Let's read. Here we go. Okay, let's read the book. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and squiggled. He darted and he giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim until you're tired. But watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. Oh, do you see? He's gonna go explore the ocean. Ooh, what do you think he's gonna see? Oh, look at him, he loves to swim. Look, he did this crazy. Look at that. He dived and he flipped. He leaped and he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket and he glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. But he still didn't feel tired. He's not tired yet. Oh, look at all the things he saw in the ocean. Can you see the octopus? <gasps> look, he saw an octopus. And what else did he see? He saw a starfish. Where's the starfish? Do you see it? There's a starfish, huh? And there's lots of, lots of other little fish. And look, there's some barnacles right here. Look at all those fish he saw. Wow. Okay. Oh, look, he's saying hello to the starfish. He says, hello, nudging the starfish gently with his nose. The starfish didn't answer, though. He didn't even move. Oops. The starfish didn't even move. Let's see who he goes to tell hello. Oh, is he going to say hello to the little crab right there? Let's see. A crab sidled by, clicking and clacking its big claws. Tiddler wanted to play with it, but the crab scuttled off and disappeared into the seaweed. Oh no, so the crab went away. So Tiddler still doesn't have anybody to play with. Oh my goodness, look at this big cave. Oh, that looks dark and scary. Oh my goodness. Tiddler came to a big, dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home. And he swam in. Oh, he's gonna go into the cave. It looks kind of scary. <gasps> Snap! Everything went dark. <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe it wasn't a cave? Hmm. Hmm. Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. Oh my goodness. Remember, his mom said to watch out for the big fish. But look, now he's in his tummy. What is he gonna do? Looks like he's doing somersaults. He trembled and he shivered and he shook and he quivered. Oh my goodness, he's so scared. Until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. Oh look, the big fish is getting a tummy ache. Do you think he's gonna spit him out? Let's see. Suddenly, the big fish burped and burped. Oh, oh my goodness. Big burp, and then whoosh, look, there's Tiddler. Oh my gosh, out shot Tiddler. Wow, he shot past the jellyfish and the clickety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish and straight through his own front door. Look at that, and who's he gonna see? Oh, there's his mommy, huh? Oh my goodness. I hope you've used up all that energy, said his mom. Ugh. Oh, look, he got tired, huh? From all his wriggling and jiggling trying to get out of that big fish. He got so sleepy. Look at that. But she would have to wait until the morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. Oh, he's so tired. Oh my goodness, that was a close one, huh? Okay, that was called Fidgety Fish by Ruth Galloway. All right, we'll see you again soon.